Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to disable users changing the background desktop wallpaper on your Windows 7 computer. This tutorial should also apply for Windows 8 and Windows 10. The only note for Windows 10 users is that they do not have the local security policy editor. So those home users will not be able to follow this method. But this tutorial is designated, as I mentioned earlier in the video, for a certain group of computer users, which make up a good percentage of the population as well. So I thought I'd make a video for those guys, just a quick little video, just a quick tutorial I throw together. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to open up the Star menu, and I'm going to type in Group Policy. Underneath Control Panel, I'm going to left click on Edit Group Policy. And now I'm going to expand the window a little bit so we can see where we're going. And now underneath user configuration, I'm going to expand the administrative templates folder right here just by left clicking a little arrow one time. And once you've done that, you want to go underneath control panel. Again, either double click on the folder or left click a little arrow next to it. And once you've done that, you want to go underneath control panel, which I said we've already done, and look for something that says personalization. So just left click on that folder one time. And now on the right side, there should see something that says prevent changing desktop background. If you see this entry in here, you want to double click on it. And now you want to set it to enabled, which will enable preventing changing desktop background if you read it out properly. And then you want to left click on apply and OK. Once you've done that and you close out of here, let's say we went back to the desktop here, right click on it, and then left click on personalize. We can see we cannot change the background of our computer anymore because it has been disabled by the system administrator. So again, if you ever wanted to revert that, just go back into the group policy editor to make the change, and it's pretty simple. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.